Welcome back. We're nearly there, aren't we? This is step 13 of the Top Solid Modeling Tutorial. In this step, we're going to introduce you to the pocket command. The pocket command is used to remove material from your solid model. We'll do this by creating a sketch. While we're in that sketch, we're also going to introduce you to a new function called Thickened Curve. This is a fast way of creating a profile. You're going to really like this. Let's see how it all works. All right, now that that trim feature is done, let's see what's next. In step 13, it looks like we're going to create a pocket on the back side of the model. This looks like a common enough feature you see in parts. It's a place for the manufacturer to, to stamp the part number or other information about the part. Let's see how to do it. So I'm going to zoom out, flip this over, and select like the bottom face of my model here. Right click and create a sketch. We can look straight at this thing like so. And it looks like we need to do it on this side. Perfect. And it looks like it's going to be on center line of the model. So again, I'm just going to create a little piece of construction geometry here. Why not? I'm in construction mode already. So I'll start there. I'll snap to the center there. Perfect. And now I'm just going to create a simple line. And you'll like this. This is a great feature. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and pick a point from there to there, but I'm going to turn off construction. So my line is on my construction line. Perfect. I'm going to go ahead and dimension this. Now, you see here how it's getting confused over what you're dimensioning is because the line is on top of the sketch line. So I'm using that select other type of a method. We call it rotative selection in top solid. To use it, you hold your selection button down, your left button, and you keep selecting the right button to rotate through all the selections. Like that, you can see I've now grabbed the line appropriately. Now here, I'm measuring this relative to my x-axis. I want to have the measurement rotated, so I'm going to make sure I rotate it, and I'm going to set the length of this accordingly. That's one way. Another way would be just to dimension from that point to our zero. Again, we want it aligned. That first one should be one inch. Let's go from our zero to here. We want that aligned as well, and that one should be one inch, eight, twelve and a half. Perfect. Now, why are we going through all this just to create a line? Because now we're going to cheat. Cheating's awesome. It's actually not cheating. It's just cool software, in fact. We have a nifty function here called Thickened. Thickened does all the heavy lifting for you. For example, if I choose my little profile there, you can see by the preview the thickened curve, right? It's making a nice little offset thickness. I can set the value that I want. I want this to be symmetric. I would like this to be a quarter inch per side. And like that, I'm done. Ah, I'm not done. I want my external arcs. I just caught that. Perfect. So you can see now the center points are at the start points of our line. And now I'm done. So it's just a neat way of making a simple little profile. What I challenge you to do is play with this function. But if you can see by the icon here, it supports multiple segments. So you can create some pretty complex profiles really fast this way. From here, all I'm going to do is right click and create a pocket. My pocket, I want to be 30 thousandths. Notice I just double clicked on the balloon here to change it. It's another way to make a modification and validate. Like that, you've now created the pocket for this step.